That's Brooklyn. Right there. So Brooklyn and Bailey are here visiting for a minute and uh, they brought Finn and he hasn't been here for a while and he's gotten a lot bigger, but look at what he's doing with Ash right now. <laughs> well, it's officially Thanksgiving here in the UK. We're in a layover at London Heathrow, but they don't celebrate it here. So we're actually flying through Thanksgiving in the US and we're gonna land in Rome like late Thanksgiving day. We made it. First flight's done. Ten hours. What'd that was think? nine hours. How was it? But it felt like eleven. <laughs> How'd you do on the plane, Dax? Good. Thought it was gonna be a little sketchy because he was kind of grumpy going into it, but you slept, and then that was better, huh? I'm gonna tell you a story that happened to Brooklyn. So, um, <laughs> Brooklyn was stretching. She was stretching on the plane. We were, we just got off a couple of minutes ago, and um, while she was stretching, I reached up and touched her hand, and she was, and oh my, I was the one. She uh, felt that, so she looked back, and this is what happened. She looked back, and she saw it. All of us sleeping, but I was fake sleeping. So when we finally got to the airport and she asked you, I um, said that, I laughed and she was like, <laughs> and then I told her that I did it. And it, that was so hilarious. Mm -hmm. Very funny. <laughs> I love that. We're in Rome. So this morning, we got up super bright and early to go to the Vatican. It's really exciting. Um, I'm excited to see it. Take lots of good pictures. Cameron brought a camera. So we're gonna get lots of good pictures, right, Cameron? Yep. Okay, we are inside the Vatican Museum. All these old artifacts everywhere. Look how beautiful this is. We're headed into the Sistine Chapel next. If we spent 30 seconds viewing every artifact they have here, it would take 12 years to see them all. We weren't supposed to film in the Sistine Chapel. They reminded me that as I was walking in, so you got a sneak peek before they made me put my camera away. Here we are looking at some of the, the little trinkets and things that were owned by the popes over the centuries that are stored in this hall. It's the longest library in the world. This is the Vatican flag, and right above it, those are rocks from the moon donated to the pope by President Nixon. Pretty darn cool. Rocks of the moon in the Vatican. This is the Vatican, which is its own country. Yeah, okay. 140 acres. We just came out of the museum. There's St. Peter's right there. But we will be going there shortly. Cleopatra. She had 300 donkeys ready to give milk so she could bathe inside of it. That's Brooklyn. No, that's you. Right there. This is St. Peter's Square. There's the obelisk. The Pope comes and speaks here on Christmas and Easter. This is my glass. I just lean around the excess marble. Mary holding her son Jesus after he's crucified. It's beautiful. There's where St. Peter was crucified upside down and they found his tomb here by Constantine in the year 400. We are about to do 350 steps to the top of St. Peter's Dome. I just want to get a picture of what we all look like right now. Oh yeah. And then what we're gonna look like at the top.
like you're walking <laughs> diagonally. That's so weird. It's <laughs> true. We're up in the dome here. This is the top of the dome. Just a few minutes ago, we were right up there. Way up there. Claws out in front of St. Peter the Basilica. This is the line. We were fortunately able to skip all of that by getting a tour guide. We were right up inside there, that little fenced area is where we were looking down from. So here's the plaza in front of the Pantheon. It's like this major old building just in the middle of Rome, right? <laughs> oh, really? Tell us what the three coins thrown into the Trevi Fountain mean. Uh, the first one means uh, return to Rome. The second one means a uh, new romance. And the third one means a good marriage. Yeah. So you have to do it from your right hand over your left shoulder, backwards. You just throw it. One, <laughs> return to Rome. We started this morning bright and early by heading to the LDS temple in Rome. Mm -hmm, it's beautiful. So we are here. I don't know if you can see the temple behind me. We're just inside by the Christus. You can see the 12 apostles behind him and waiting to start a little tour. We're at the ancient Roman Forum here in Rome. You can see it all right here behind me. We're just hearing the history about it right now. Taking a break, stretching our legs, taking pictures. We'll do it next. Go! <laughs> that was terrible. Ready, set, go! <laughs> go! <laughs> Woo! You got it! Oh my That is Mount Vesuvius, that is the volcano that exploded and buried all of Pompeii, covered it in ash, and all the people were destroyed. This is the Pompeii center, the piazza, the plaza. So when the Pompeians were hit with the pyroclastic gas and the ash they died and it were buried in the ash and as their bodies decayed when they excavated they found these vacant areas in the ash and so they poured plaster down into the shape of the body so that's what you see is the shape of the body as they died these ruts right here are from the chariots carved in over many, many years of use. Oh, this is the bakery. Yes. 
There's the pizza mm -hmm. oven right there. The woman likes her meat. More of the grain in here, mm -hmm. and then there'd be big sticks here that would push it, and then they would grind the flour out here and then sweep it off and make the bread. That's the cold bath, and that's where the rainwater would come down in. Pompeii apparently has the hugest lemons on the planet. Put your hand up by that lemon. Lemon. Yeah. They look like cantaloupes, but we got lemon slushies and they're delicious. Tucked in Fisherman Village by the sea. So pretty. We're driving down the Amalfi Coast. Getting near the end of the day, the sun is setting, and we are concluding our last stop in Amalfi. I see it, Pace. What did you think today, Brooklyn? Glad we came down south? Oh, yes. I liked Pompeii a lot. I thought that was really interesting. I but think sad. Very sad seeing all the little human shapes. It's very sad. So I've been home maybe 12 hours and Marnay went home, Debbie Grandma came in and this morning we are doing a photo shoot um, headshots for Camry. So we're up in the studio, we got everything all set up, Jesse's here shooting for us again. Final touches for Camry. How you feeling Cam? Yay, we're done! Say it, call it. That's a wrap. Yeah! Today, Camry's Brat Show starts, and we have not seen it, so we decided to have some of her friends come over so we could do a viewing party. Camry cheated and watched it before all of us. Okay. Alex, how's the popcorn? The gummy bears are better. The gummy. Is there M&Ms in the bottom, too? I think so. Yep. That looks... This is what we did, look. We made a cute little popcorn bar and we did go armadillos because that's what the track team is on the show. And we did balloons in the color of the track team. And then all of these little toppings you can add to the popcorn just for fun because we wanted to make it feel special that tonight was her first show. 